my artwork, I think, pulls that out of other people. You know, they're not just buying a picture, they're buying, a, they're looking at a, a memory of their own life. You know, we're all inborn to do certain things, to have talents, and this drawing is my talent. Bob's talents landed him a job at Yawk High School. He taught art and became the wrestling coach as well. When he needed money to pay for one of his kids to go to college, he used his talents once again. So I was doing wrestling caricatures at wrestling tournaments, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll make some football art, some Pittsburgh art, and see, see how that goes. So I'm kind of a collision of artwork and sports. I, I paint, airbrush, do other things, but basically I'm just using Sharpie pens and, and a little Micron pen. So I make thousands and thousands of lines and dots. This was developed, believe it or not, by uh, Michelangelo and uh, those guys. No doubt, if those guys lived in Pittsburgh, they'd be drawing sports figures too. Michelangelo would have been known for his David DeCastro. There's so much to work with with Pittsburgh sports tradition. It's kind of endless how many um, people there are to, to draw in moments to draw. Santonio making his catch. Just recently did a, a Ben illustration. Uh, Roberto is, is one of my favorite people to draw. Stargell, of course Lemieux, and Crosby Malkin, and even Yager have done some artwork uh, that's been presented to Franco Harris, Rocky Blyer. And I did a portrait recently of Dick LeBeau with Troy Polamalu, and I, I actually got to meet Dick LeBeau afterwards. He has it framed in his house, and um, every time he walks past it, he stops and thinks about Troy. I don't have a lot of uh, paintings in uh, big famous art galleries, but I have all this artwork in real people's man caves or you know living rooms and so that that means a lot more to me